hard to believe as you watch the deer grazing in the grass that just 80 vertical feet below is another world, magical, mystical, cool. We're topside right now and the temperature's about 95 degrees, but we're getting ready to walk down into the cave without a name, where year round it's a sweet 66 degrees. When the barometric pressure increases, the outside air is forced into the cave. When the barometric pressure decreases, the cave air comes out, so therefore the cool air comes up and the exchange rate is higher. There's 126 steps, and it's the only way in, and reverse is the only way out. Dedicated to nature and preservation, the majestic cave was first discovered years ago and has a storied past, playing host to a still during Prohibition. It boasts plenty of the usual stalactites and stalagmites, but also drapery formations. What do you think is the most beautiful and fascinating thing about the cave without a name? what nature can do all at its own total silence, total darkness over a period of millions of years. But it was music to Tom's ears when he determined the sound in the bottom of the cave was magnificent. The acoustics cannot be duplicated by a man-made building. It's just awesome acoustics. So often during the summer and fall, bands honor this grand dame of a venue with drums. <laughs> guitars, even digitaroos. You play down there and it just sounds great, and so it really, it's a wonderful place to play. The cave talks back because of that resonance, that reverb that you hear down there, you feel it. You, the sound comes back and you can just hear it rolling and rolling, and so it's, it's beautiful. It's like being in a big cathedral. It's just, it's surreal. I've, I've never been anywhere, like it's, it's, it's a very, unique um, place and the acoustics are amazing and it just makes you feel like you're not in this world at all. I think we try anyway to bring the audience with us back through time into a simpler and more grounded time when we were literally in our bodies making music together as a community. First of all, we're in this amazing space here, 120 feet under the ground. And so we're literally in the womb of Mother Earth. And coming down those stairs and feeling the humidity and the cool is a part of the music, as is the cavern itself. All the songs we play, all the pieces are programmed to enhance the natural reverberations off the cave, but also just the awareness that the cave herself is a player in the band. The cave is being formed moment by moment as we play, draw one drop of water at a time, and the music is being created one note at a time. You have to listen not just with your ears, but with your heart. You're sharpening your senses and you're relying upon something other than stereo. Yes. And add to that the rhythm, having three drummers and two didgeridoo players bringing this primordial soup and drawing them back out of this time, quite literally, I believe, I believe these rhythms, these feelings are inculcated in our gene pool. They go back tens of thousands of years. Okay. 